Hey everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk TV. We are continuing the plot. We're meeting up with Decker back at Tony's. Um, let's see what he has for us. Dex, good timing. Just received a Raycast Connect. You should take a seat. All right. <laughs> Feeling with the augment, huh? Look, Raycast just dropped an intel bomb. Shit just went boom. The complex is developing new AI. Means business. They're trying to put an end to Kether. Maybe destroy it. More likely, put it back on a leash. What happens if they succeed? What'll happen? If the complex gets Kether grade control of the grid, we're talking the end of encryption. Unchecked censorship. A technocracy so complete we may as well be handed spoons and told when to open our mouths. We'll see, hear, and say only what the complex feeds us. I don't like That's that. That's what will happen. I don't like that at all. I'm sorry. I ain't angry at you, Blue. I'm angry at me for what I gotta ask you to do. This new AI, this GSV-2, it's in Charlie testing. Raycast needs... We need you to stop it. Get in the facility and destroy it. It's the seed thing again, isn't it? Seems like it might be more than just a bourbon legend. When you were under, when Niles was installing the Neuroweave, he showed me your fMRI scan of your brain activity. Look, I don't know if you're some avatar, but I do know that there's something special in you. All right. <laughs> Raycast says you're the only one to connect to the GSV-2's development network without your brain frying out your ears. You can cap it from the inside, not just the out. All right. I might be crazy, but I'll do it. Tell me the house. Right choice, Blue. I just wish it didn't have to be you making it. Right. The problem now is not even Raycast knows where GSV-2 is being built. He suspects it's in Harbor Prime, but only a complex insider would know where. We found one person with that kind of clearance. I guess I know where I'm going. Her name is Miranda Prowalski, a private attorney for Samio, on the complex's payroll. She prosecutes companies that don't fall in line. If you could pay her a visit, convince her to talk. I get it. I'll ask nicely, and then ne less nicely. <laughs> Easy with them claws, kid. We know she works for them, but not how much she knows. Info is cellular in the complex. Most of its people have no idea what else goes on. You'll find her on the top floor of Building 39 in High Rise. Try to get there on the sly. But there'll be cameras, maybe security drones. When you've bagged the intel, come back and we'll talk what's next. I accidentally almost hacked into her apartment once before. <laughs> I didn't even know. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. Let's do this thing. Because do you remember... I remember. But do you remember when I tried to climb up the building 39 and I almost got shot to death? That is definitely where I need to go. That is not what I want. Can you please... All right, let's get ready for war. We're a lot better armed and a lot more skilled than we were before, but we still might be in trouble. God, these things are tough. I don't know what those are, those spinny razor blade ice things. That one doesn't even have a life bar. I am killing it, right? Okay. Sweep a little bit. Just keep hacking stuff. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Get out, get out, get out, get out! Oh, gross. That was awful. Um... Just keep shooting. Okay. We're almost there. We got one more turret and one more camera. I should probably just leave and come back, but screw it. Oh, 
Oh, crud, I was so close. Alright. Well, we can investigate down here while we're waiting for our stuff to regenerate. After weeks of a well-publicized trial, replacement prosecutor Miranda Porowski won the case which many thought would be buried under pressure from wealthy Acar Corporation. The new research facility, Redwood Watts, opened only a few years ago, featuring state-of-the-art technology and security systems, and was ordered to shut down after a series of mysterious, deadly accidents occurred. Mrs. Porowski was facing an uphill battle representing the citizens of Harbor Prime against the mighty Itcher Corp. Similar cases have been closed in the past due to financial pressure from the defendants, which many claimed was proof of ever-growing corruption within the legal system. Ever-growing? It's already there, bud. Uh, this, however, was due to compelling evidence produced by Ms. Prowowski. I gotta figure out how to say her name. Uh, such detailed schematics of the security system and video footage for some of the accidents. Denial was impossible, and the judge ordered the Itcher Corp to abandon its facility and pay sizable fines. How the prosecutor managed to procure this evidence remains unknown, but all signs point to deeply rooted connections, possibly to you know who, the complex is the name of the all seeing eye company. Did I get it? No, I didn't, did I? No, I did. Sweet. All right. Hmm. Founder. Let's go in the other room first. Oh, I'm gonna hack Miranda's PC. You just watch. I'm gonna go talk to her after, but I'm gonna definitely hack it too. I got her PDA. This game is like, hey, here's a bunch of ways you could do this if you weren't terrible. But I am going to do them all. All right. Okay. Those are the immortal kind. I want pulse wave here because. Oh, golly. Alright. Okay, her security system is equally, equally, you know, uh, secure as to her physical space. Just keep shooting up everybody. Ow, stop. Can't even see it. This is this is compelling gameplay footage. Absolutely. Well, I will take her five dollars. Why is that there? Okay, pulse wave. Easy peasy. Oop. I gotta stop saying easy peasy. All it does is get me in trouble. That's going to do something useful. That's going to turn off our thing over here, isn't it? Okay. Fire pulse wave again. There's so many of them. There we go. See, I don't mind these little viruses chasing me around at all. The ones I don't like are the ones that can shoot back. Which, I mean, duh, right? But... There. Alright. Give me the goods. We are aware that the Extra Corp is placing you in a difficult situation, considering your own husband was directly responsible for the series of tragic events. From Mike D to Miranda. Um... However, we nonetheless remind you how vital it is that you win this case, in the name of justice, but also in the name of for your own sake. Should you refuse to e use the evidence we have provided you with, we will be left with no alternative but to retaliate and expose your husband's involvement. Yikes. You pigs. All the evidence is fabricated, and you know as well as I do that my husband is in no way responsible for these accidents. You're framing him. Miss Prowski, we are surprised at your outrageous claims, but we ascribe them to, be under uh, to your understandably high emotional state. You must know that there are obviously other prosecutors who would love to take the case off your hands. We are simply offering you a lucrative deal. Should you win this case, you can consider a career as a private attorney for our conglomerate. We would also uh, do everything in our power to ensure your husband continues to live as a free man. Should you re refuse or lose the case, however, we will not be able to guarantee your safety or his. Sucks to suck. Um, is there anything else in here? Not really. I mean, there's definitely something over here. 
You wanna stop that, please? Alright, more info. Oh gosh, the great, the best of both worlds. We're getting these guys coming through the gate I can't go through. Alright, um. Okay. Stop that. I'm so out of focus. Just get the info. We should we should go. From Mike D. Um, Ms. Prowski, our most of our dearly besetted associates, City Magistrate Dominic Carmichael, has been being wrongly accused of pains us to even have to write these words, sexual assault on a young woman. These claims are outrageous, and as you can imagine, but the alleged victim is backing her executions or ex <laughs> accusation with realistically falsified evidence. After some concern, we feel it would be best if you st or you would be best equipped to lead the defense. We hope you will see it as a welcome departure from your usual prosecution work. We will, of course, provide you with all the counter evidence you need. You're certain you will find uh, manage to defend our friend successfully. An innocent man's life is at stake. That's fucking gross. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Miss Prowski, congratulations on your successful handling of the biofarm tech case. You're aware of the implications of loss this would have had on the financial situation of the company, as well as the presence of its in its Asian markets. Please be assured that your payment will be transferred soon. We will be untouched when we require your services again. Rough. It's really not important to shoot that. I'm just doing it as something to do. Alright, um... I think that's just about everything in here. So there's nothing here, and I've done pretty much the loop. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Cool, let's go talk to Miranda ourselves now. Please, it, it's okay, everything is okay. I'm okay, and you're okay. We don't have a situation here. This is my apartment, and I just want you to leave. I don't have to call security. I'm not gonna hurt you, but I'm also not gonna leave. I came here to ask you some questions. You are aware that anything I say to you about any of my cases will be inadmissible in the court of law due to the nature in which the information was extracted. I am quite aware. But if anything happens to me, I have connections. You know that, right? If that was meant to scare me, you're gonna have to try harder. The complex is already after me. Are they now? I see. Well, I apologize. I am scared. And it made me say the wrong thing. Listen. My association with the complex is no secret. But if you're looking for information, you're going to be sorely disappointed. My job is to prosecute, not defend. My case uh -huh. files are on people outside the complex, not inside. What I need to know is not about people, it's about places. The GSV2 program. Tell me where they're developing it. GS... what? I don't know what you're talking about. If they're threatening you, I can help. You just have to tell me what you know bold words. Look, even if you could protect me, there's nothing I can tell you. Everything about the GSV2 program is classified. Well, suddenly you know what it is, huh? Of nobody knows. They tell me nothing. It's true. Okay, okay, I, I can guess. There's only one facility in Harbor Prime that could handle GSV2 in scale and tech. It's outside the city, in the hills. Highly secure. Called Redwood Watts. Good. Now, I have no interest in what you intend to do. Really, I don't. But please, I've helped you. Help me, too. Don't let them trace you back to me. I found this article about you. You have talent for prosecution. You found? You make it sound like I left it in your place, not locked it up in mine. Prosecution is what I do, okay? 
And that case changed everything for me. Everything. Okay. Samyo approached me. It was a few weeks into the i -Corp, Corp trial. Another attorney was prosecuting them. Samyo offered me crazy money to take over. Said they wanted someone with more chops to bring justice to the people of Harbor Prime. That the deaths at Redwood Watts were inexcusable. Yeah, Redwood Watts. You know, that's the facility where I am currently going. They, they wanted the trial to succeed, get the facility shut down so they could use it. I told them to take a hike. Very ethical of you. It was complicated, okay? You don't just go jumping into bed with Samuel. I knew Samuel was a competitor, but that didn't explain why they were so involved in the trial. And everything was off about this case. The so-called accidents at Redwood Watts. The whole thing stank of a setup. So you're telling me that Samuel framed I Itcher Corp, but that the deaths, they happened? All I know is that people died, and Samuel provided me with the evidence to incriminate i -Corp. Gross negligence. The deaths weren't made up, but the evidence... Then what happened? i -Corp, Corp lost the case. It's then that I saw what Samuel were after. Yep. The Redwood Watts facility was shut down as part of the verdict. Deemed unsafe, Samuel swooped in to buy it, and at bargain price. Makes sense. They needed the facility. That's what it seemed. And the buyout was never made public. Let's just keep going. These emails, you were being blackmailed? Where did you... That is private correspondence that I locked away. How dare you? If the complex knows you have seen them, it's not just your own life you're playing with here, you know? And it's not just yours either. Okay. They did let me. All right. They made me work for them. Was I going to just sit by and let them kill my husband? Fine. Are you happy now? I already know the answer to this one, but how long have you been working for the complex? More than 20 years. Mm -hmm. I was successful in a certain case. And they've required my services ever since. Please understand, you don't say no to these people. Yeah, and looking at your home, I'd say there are certain benefits to saying yes. What exactly do you do? I, I, I already... I'm just one of their corporate attorneys. I protect their financial interests. From corporate espionage, mm -hmm. intellectual property infringement. Mm -hmm. Sounds almost noble. Are we done here? Yeah, I'm by. All right. I was hoping that if I learned all of her secrets, I could offer to like get her out of the life and protect her or something, but that's not exactly how it's going to work, so that's fine. Um, so we know where we need to go. However, I have concerns about going there. So let's see what we can do. Um, I need a way to make money and relatively quickly. Cause I want to get some some like aug heavy duty augments before I go over there, and I also really want you know just sort of I don't know be be more prepared than I am. Oh, pulse wave. Is there anything else I can hack in this area? Stop shooting, jeez. I don't think so. I never did really finish exploring this area either. Alright. $50 for each hacked vending machine. <sighs> Alright, um... Do you have anything else? Cool? What will be your taste? Yeah, here. I need a counter drug to end our. That's some high grade material you're asking for, me lady. I don't have counter endazine, but I'm fully stocked with endazine. Just you gotta stay wired. 300 for your pleasure. How's that sound? Alright, 300. A pleasure doing business. Got it. So now I can have home cook me up something. Speedy, you young, enterprising drug dealer. You've been more useful than I would like to admit. 
Um, okay, so this is a bit of a change, of course, but let's go here and let's see if home will make hey, me some. Return. Hmm. That I can. And for your past assistance, this one's on the house. Done. Nice. Uh, I've placed him in the small dart gun. Okay. You only have a handful of doses, so make sure you don't miss. That sounds great. Um, let's equip the dart gun, shall we? Just... I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Hold on here. Doop, doop, doop. Dart gun. Equip. Put that there. Alright. Let's go back to downtown. And I think we're ready to fight a cyborg. We've got some time. Um, hmm. Because we know, we know how to basically counter both of his bonuses. His de demolition arm will break if we use the radio signal. And that we'll have to set up probably once we get there. But the dart gun should help. How's everything going? Think you're ready for a showdown? Or you got more prepping to do? I uh, managed to get the frequency to his demolition arm. Great. As long as there's some sort of radio transmitter around when you encounter him, you'll be able to use that frequency to yep. overload his arm. And I got the counter drug to end doors. Nice work, kid. You'll have one shot at this. Shoot him with a dart, and it should neutralize the effects of his endozine in a few seconds. I'm ready to take him on. Let's hope you're right, kid. Now, safest will be if you go back to the industrial zone. If Connor is coming for this Lydia, he's going to need to come up against the slicers at some point. That sounds good. They do meet him. Try to neutralize him just enough for the arrest. There's a thing or two I want to say to him face to face. But he sure as hell won't be holding off the trigger, so just do what you gotta do. You got it. Alright, let's go see if we can set our trap. Whoa! Hey buddy, I'm not... Okay. There's so many of them. Alright. Let's retry that, shall we? These guys aren't even Connor. They're just the freaking... They're just like the Vanguard. Alright. Um, crud. Alright, so let's... This is the dart gun. I'm using the dart gun. Oh, my lord. Okay. Um... <laughs> And go and equip Magnum. No, equip so machine gun. Oh yeah, that was that. That was great. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's try that again. Get a little closer. There we go. All right. So let's reload. Let's uh, heal. I think we'll just use one of these. And then let's move forward a little bit. There's two more guys there. Jesus cr cr Jesus criminy. Alright, um, then let's do this. Perfect. Can I do a takedown on these guys? No. Ow. Stop that. Lord. Alright. Let's go up here and deal with this first. Stop shooting me! Oh, okay. Well, I killed one guy. That's something. So spicy. Alright, um, no. Equip that again. Reload. What? Oh, I can't save here? Alright. Can't reload while crouching. That is freaking ridiculous. This is. <sighs> this gun. I mean, it does definitely spray fire, but good grief, is it bad? All right. Um. All the splicers are already dead. All right, let's go in here, and let's go. We've got one more guy to fight. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, so he's still alive down there. Uh, okay. It does definitely rain fire, though. Okay. Um, I like how he was using a, obviously using a submachine gun, and the game is like, here, have some shotgun ammo. Um, okay, so now we need to find that transmitter immediately. That is like priority one. And then we can dart gun him, but like the transmitter is important. We have to set it to the right frequency, otherwise we are in major trouble. So let's go up here. We found the information about the transmitter up here in this office. So let's go up there and maybe it's up there and we can actually interact with it now. I'm not sure. Doesn't seem to be much here. It's like, and I already went through this whole network, and you don't set the, you don't set the, it's a radio transmitter. It shouldn't even be on the matrix. So like, that doesn't seem like it matters. And yep, you go over here, and then I can jump over here. Perfect. Now, is there anything else in here? No, not really. I mean, I've already dealt with that. Okay, so let's try to jump back the way we came. That is exactly what I did last time, too. Alright, so are we just out of luck, or what's going on? Because we're definitely in the right place. I'm just not quite sure what, what's actually going on here. Oh, okay, okay, stop that. Okay. Where in the world? Look for the freak around the industrial zone. But like, I don't know where the... Yeah, because there's the Slicer's Warehouse. There's not much to this area. Like, this is it. I mean, and there's a big pile of dead Splicers that I did not leave there, right? So that... That makes sense to me that they would be somewhere else. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, we're getting somewhere. Um, I guess that's nothing. Let's see. Um, is there anything else we can do in here? Like... This is not an area. That is not a... That's not a thing. I'm up here. Hold on. Can I go... Is there anything this way? We're doing that. I mean, this is just an empty cabinet, right? Because that's just something I went through. Okay, so... I've got to be missing something around here. Because, I mean, we are definitely in the industrial zone. And we just definitely fought a bunch of Armageddon thugs. They were not that hard. They were... They. I mean, they did... I did spend like five, six hundred credits on ammunition to spend, go spray through them, but. Great. Alright, well, let's retry. Um... Alright, let's go to the slums, and then let's go back again. They're all toasted. Huh. I'm so confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Because, like... No, not tutorial. Where's journal? The radio room. The radio room upstairs. So, like, there's got to be more to that warehouse that I'm just not understanding how to get to. Because if there is a radio room upstairs from the room that I was already thought was the top floor, there's got to be more to this place. But I don't know where. Because, I mean, here's this, right? And this doesn't go anywhere. I mean, I can, I can definitely ride the ladder off into nowhere, but... Is there, like, another door I'm missing? Or a vent? No. That's not... 
I mean, these are all things this game has done before, so. Radio room upstairs. I'm really confused. Can I jump from here? Is there anywhere else to go? Nope. Okay, this this has got to be something. This is just a storage room, right? But does it have an, a way we can go? Can we slip out any of these ways? Not really. I mean, that's not really how this game has worked, so... Maybe... Okay, that was awful. Um, maybe if we go around the industrial zone, let's go back this way. Let's go look around the slums a little bit, because we really didn't spend a ton of time there. Um, my only thought is that there is definitely something up there. And I'm wondering if there's a way to get to it. Let's let's poke around here just a little bit more. Because, I mean, there is this ladder. And there is, like, that stuff outside the building there. But, like, I don't know if that's window dressing or actually a thing. Okay, so let's go like this. And then let's look. Do we have to get super jump augments or something? Like, we shouldn't have to. It doesn't make any sense to have to. But, alright, whatever. Hey guys, there are so many bad guys here. Wait, two ti- okay. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? This is just, this is just too much, all right? When your kick does almost as much damage as a, as a... Stop it. Give me your noodles. Nope, just, just combat roll away. Okay? No. Okay. Th <laughs> This does seem promising, okay? So maybe the, sl like the slums are, I mean, they're adjacent, obviously, but the this is where I'm supposed to be. At least, it's at least something. What the? Oh, he's standing in front of cover, okay. Um, yeah, cause like, dude sleeping on a shelf, times is hard. Um, yeah, cause what, if we can find, I'm assuming that the radio room and like the area that has Connor in it is somewhere else. And by somewhere else, I mean just somewhere in the slums. Like, it said the industrial district, but I'm going to poke around here and hope for the best. Gosh, that's inefficient. All right, reload. <laughs> I'll just like eat a bunch of Chinese noodles here eventually. Cover is not going to help me. Um, those guys up there were just being jerks. Just being jerks. Just being jerks. Ow! Get out of here. Okay, I know that dude is probably drinking booze, but it looks like he's just getting hecka hydrated. Look at him. Okay. Uh, boop, boop. I'm just dudes everywhere. I mean, the slums are a rough place, but like... The scrapyard? Oh, yeah, that's that other- the next area over. Hold on, let me just... Like, I don't actually think this has anything to do with anything here. Like, there's just a bunch of dudes here. I don't- I don't think this is right. Um... Let's go talk to Navarro, because this game hasn't... 
broken this badly yet before, so let's go see what he says. Hmm. I thought I was going to get to fight a super cool cyborg today, but I'm not sure if I will. Hey, dude. Did you find Connor? Not yet. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. We'll keep trying.